Um, I'm really happy to see you again and as I promised before, today's video is about the group discussion. So let's begin. So for people who are not aware of the process of the interview of cabin crew, uh, during the interview there is an activity called uh, the group discussion. Okay, uh, so for the group discussion, it's a technique for the recruiters that they use um, in order to detect individuals inside of a group uh, activity. Yes, as I told you, it's an activity that goes in a group, but uh, thanks to it, the HR can uh, or the recruiters. Normally, it's carried by the HR manager, okay? So what they do is that either the HR is there in place or they have a Skype video with the HR uh, from the place the HR is. So for example, if you are applying for cabin crew with Emirates, be sure that the uh, recruiters will be there with you, but they will be uh, in touch um, uh, telling the HR manager everything that they observe. Okay, so let's come back to our topic. The group discussion is a, a discussion uh, or a, an activity, sometimes it goes also as an activity, where there are seven, eight to ten people maximum in a group, okay? So they divide the candidates into groups and um, the... Um, the group is participating, okay, but I want you to understand that the results are individual. This doesn't mean that the whole group goes in or the whole group goes out. It's, um, it's done individually. So they pick up candidates and they separate them from the crowd. And of course, some people might succeed in this activity and some might not. So what do the recruiters um, see? when you are doing this group activity. Actually, they are looking at you from head to toe, observing everything you do, every movement. So they go and focus on three or four things maximum, okay? So the first thing is the speaking skills. So they go and see the way you speak, if you can attract people, if you can get attention, um, the way you talk, um, if your voice is really heard, if your tone is clear, okay? And they go also and check your, your body language. So it's not only about what you say and um, what is your interaction and what is the idea that you wanna share, but it's also about how you do it. Your body language plays a very big role. And of course, as you know, the body language uh, reflects a lot about the personality. So the way you say, if you're using your hands or your hands are not, because you know, some people when they talk, they forget about themselves and they, they, they raise their hands like this. And it's not something really appreciated. So if you are talking, please try to stay calm as much as you can, okay? Your voice should be really soft, but heard. You should look assertive and firm but not rude okay so um your tone should not really be high and should not really be low so your tone should be okay your voice is clear and whenever you interact with people try to stay as polite as possible um, try not to interrupt okay um so these are the things they go and see the most in you, okay? There is another thing that they see is your attitude. Attitude is really important. So let's imagine that the group, they gave you a topic and they say, go and discuss this topic. And everyone is talking, everyone is participating. And you did not get a chance to uh, say a word, okay? So in this case, they... They focus on you to see your attitude. So how are you going to deal with this? Are you going to impose yourself and just shout, hey, everyone, please shut up. I need to speak. Or you're going to do it in a way that you will attract people's attention to you in a polite way. <clears throat> so please be careful because this happens a lot. You know, so many people, they take the lead. They just start talking non-stop and they think that this is the way they're going to succeed. This is not the way because you're going to look dominant, okay? Um, in the cabin crew job, um, you're going to see if you, if you make it one day, why not? 
and you are accepted as a flight attendant, you're going to see that the teamwork is really important. So if you go and dominate uh, everyone and you just uh, take the lead and you do not let anyone else speak, this is not a good personality that um, uh, someone who has the spirit of a team uh, carries, you know. Um, so yeah, as I told you, you should attract people's attention, but don't be rude, don't cut anyone. And I'm going to give you a very clever tip to do. In case everyone, so I'm giving you all the scenarios that can happen in this group discussion, okay? I'm giving you the, I'm giving you the arrogant one, uh, and I'm giving you the dominant one, and I'm giving you the shy one, okay, who did not get the chance to speak. Now, I'm going to focus on the shy one. If you ever, let's suppose that you are not the shy person. Let's suppose that somebody did not have a chance to speak and everyone else did uh, have a chance. So what you're going to do is that you give that person a chance, okay? Try to make them interfere with the group. Try to make them talk and say, for example, uh, yeah, but I think our colleague did not have the chance to say his word. So why don't we just listen to him? And you give him the chance. Why not? This shows that you are caring. This shows that you don't want to win at any price. This shows that you are not the dominant one that just want to be heard, but you care about other people who did not get the chance to say a word. And, uh, you know, I did this, but uh, to be honest with you, I did it unconsciously. I saw some people who, uh, in their eyes, I see that they want to speak, but they did not get the chance. So I was like, okay, let's hear from our friend. <laughs> So as I told you, the recruiters do focus on your speaking skills, means if you do have uh, or you do commit mistakes while you're talking, uh, English of course, and they do focus on your body language, please try to stay calm, do not raise your hands while you are talking, sit in an appropriate way, sit with your back like this, don't be like this, you know, you look lazy or not interested in what they are saying, and don't be like this again, you know, you should look really as normal as you can, as professional as you can, as calm as you can, assertive but not rude again. So they do focus also on your attitude, how you deal with the fact that you did not talk, for example, did not get a chance to talk. They do deal with it with they do focus, sorry, with your attitude also to see if you are dominating. And they do focus also on your interaction method. Um so literally it's everything about you, okay? Your voice, your tone, the way you sit, the way your your eye contact, for example. Please try to have an eye contact with everyone, okay? This will give you more self-confidence. Don't talk like this. Okay, guys, I think that... Uh, or like this. Uh, guys, I think that um, concerning my... No, you should keep an eye contact with everyone, you know? When you're sitting like this, try to have a look at the faces of your colleagues, okay? Recruiters as well, if they're looking at you, give them an eye contact. Try to have a look at everyone's face to show that you are comfortable sitting inside of a group. Okie dokie. So, um, I'm going to share my experience, you know, uh, in the group discussion. So, they gave us a topic. They usually gave, give a lot of topics, okay? They give about social issues, about sports, education, um, society, technology. So there are a lot of topics that they can ask you to um, just discuss between you, okay? So they gave us a topic that was, uh, it was an exercise, okay? So they gave us like, you have, you are an owner, okay? Let's suppose that you are an owner of a travel agency and you've got only um, two tickets left. Okay, and you've got a lot of um, uh, people who want to travel, for example, but uh, to whom you're going to give those tickets. And uh, you have people who've been flying with you for such a long time. You have an elderly woman that needs to do a surgery. You have somebody going for a funeral and you have and you have and you have. And you have a vlogger, like, for example, somebody who's posting on YouTube. So, of course, if you do not give him the ticket, Let's let's imagine what he can do in, in his YouTube channel. <laughs> okay, and 
they saw us discussing this between each other. So if you choose a person, like for example, I'm going to give you an example. If I choose the elderly woman who has to go for a surgery, this shows a side in my, in my personality that I am a person who cares about the health of people, who cares about humanity, who wants to provide help. This shows a lot uh, about me. Let's go to somebody else, for example, who choose uh, a businessman. He gave the ticket to the businessman. He said, this businessman, uh, he is going to help us with our business uh, to grow our business. And na na ni na na na. Okay. So he was like, <clears throat> okay, uh, this, this person who chose the, Ill, the this businessman, it shows that they have the spirit of business and they do care about the growth of business. This exercise looks very simple, but it shows a lot about the personality of the candidates. Let's, um, let's, okay, talk about um, uh, those who said funeral. Okay, they do care about people's feelings. Um, uh, it's somebody who wants to go for a funeral for their mother, so it's urgent and they need to give him the ticket. Um, as I told you, it shows, th this exercise shows a lot about uh, people's personalities. And uh, let me tell you that the answer is not what matters. They don't want, they, they don't need you to give them like really the solution for this situation, you know? <laughs> they don't need that. They just need to see the way how you do it, okay? Because inside of the aircraft, you might go through situations where um, you have to give your opinion in a nice way. Inside of the aircraft, when we are in the sky, there are no policemen, uh, there are no um, safety guards, there is no doctor, there is no one, there is only you, there is only us, the team, okay? So the purpose uh, of this uh, exercise is to see if you can deal with a team, if you, a team, sorry, if you can fit in a team. And in order for you to fit in a team, you have to say your opinion in a very polite way. You should not try to dominate anyone. You should give everyone the respect and uh, you should just fit in. Like the team should love you. You should be loved by people. It's the way you say your opinion. It's your tone. It's your voice. It's your body language. It's everything in you that says that either you fit in a team or not. Um, what else? What did I forget? Okay, so yeah, that's it. They do take notes of everything you say, who participated, who did not participate. Please, um, I'm going to tell you again, if you, if you think that by saying everything, by finding the solution, by being the one who participated the most, let me tell you that I've been in cases where somebody who did not say a word was picked. They do see people. They do see people if they, if they really did not get the chance to speak. Like somebody was really dominating or two people started fighting. Ah, yeah, this is really important. Please, please, please be careful. You know, you might be in a situation where um, you say something and somebody else says the opposite of it. And it might trigger your anger, you know, like this, like, like you say, I'm going to give the ticket to the elderly woman. And then he goes like somebody else from the group goes like, oh, no, we give it to the businessman. We don't need here feelings and everything. We need to make the, the society grow more money and things. And I don't know. I don't care. But however, if somebody else triggers your anger, don't do the mistake and start fighting with them. Don't try to show the recruiter that you are the one right. If somebody else tries to trigger your anger, control yourself. Because I've seen cases of people who started fighting and at the end, bye-bye both of you. Yeah, it did happen. And the one who did not speak, he was really respectful. He was the one who went with us to the final step, which was the face to face. So please, 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 again, it's not about what you say it's not about the solution that you're giving it's not about it's not about how much do you speak it's about how do you say it uh, are you a person that shows respect and love to everyone or not? okay sometimes i'm giving you some keys okay some some tips to just win this uh, this group discussion sometimes you know when they gave us the topic everyone is like shocked 
you know, they just gave you the topic and they're like, okay, guys, we started counting. Now you have 15 minutes to discuss this. By the way, it can go from 15 minutes to 13 minutes. It depends on the HR. So it depends on the HR because they decide depending on the group. Because sometimes the group takes time to start the discussion. And um, when they just gave you the topic, when they just give you the topic like this, you know, when no one else did not start yet and everyone is quiet and you are like, shall I be the first one to start or not? Don't hesitate. As long as you are doing what I'm telling you, you are respectful, your tone is okay, your body language is perfect and professional, why not start in? This shows that you have the team leader spirit. And this is something they're searching for, you know. You're not being rude. You're not being dominating. You just started the conversation. And you helped everyone else feel more comfortable in participating. Oh, yeah. I remembered something also very important. Please pay attention to the time that they're giving you, okay? When the recruiter says, guys, you have 20 minutes to discuss this, look at your watch, okay? Look at your watch. And remember, okay, this is... Um, like this is half past seven okay so i should be careful about the time and you're gonna do something like really really amazing um if you if you see that the group are just talking and talking and talking and they forgot about the time and they did not find the solution yet why don't you be the gentle reminder that guys we have five minutes left how about um how about like uh, making a conclusion for all of this why don't you why don't we uh, just um for example let's say for example what i did i'm gonna give you what i did okay um we had like i think four minutes left and i was the one uh, who um paid attention to the time and i was like okay guys i think we have four minutes left and there was a big fight you know between like the group was divided, like literally divided into two, two um, opinions, okay? So some people were saying the businessman should have the ticket and some other people said, okay, it's the elderly woman who needs a surgery. And I was like, okay, um, okay. Now I was like, guys, we have only four minutes. So I did the reminder of time, okay? Which is good. It shows that I have time management skill, okay? So that's a good point to do if you can make sure that you remember the time that the, the recruiter gave you. And what I did just to um, turn off this fight, I was like, okay, guys, so I, I see that some people here think about the humanitarian side and some other people think about money side and both of them are important you know um so i was like we're gonna why don't we just um take two opinions from here that supports money and uh, two opinions from here that support support sorry uh the uh human humanitarian side of each of us you know and i was like okay we're gonna give a ticket two tickets to this and two tickets to that and the problem was solved you know everyone was happy um, this shows that you um, can calm down any conflict between your colleagues. It shows that you can control uh, people's anger and you can find also solutions in a very quick way. So this is what I did and I succeeded in this time by doing this, by the way. So I'm sharing with you the tips that I did in my interview and that helped me uh, a lot, of course, to so uh, that's basically everything you, you might go through. Uh, yeah, uh, let me tell you something. Uh, it might look st stressful when they just tell you, okay, guys, you have 10 minutes to discuss this and everyone is um, trying to fight for their own place and you might, your, your level of stress might start uh, rising, you know. What you're going to do is that um, <clears throat> try to breathe. You do not need to be the first one to initiate. The, the the conversation you know try to breathe calm down why not wait for somebody else to speak the first one the second one and be the third one if this gives you more self-confidence you know what i mean so um just try to control your breathing breathing is really important in those kind of stressful situation remember you reach the group discussion because oh they called you the first day because they believe in you and they saw something in you 
So you are there for a reason, okay? And the reason is that, that you have something in you that they are searching for. So be confident, calm down, breathe, and then speak. Make sure that your breathing is okay before you speak so that your tone and your voice, as discussed in the video before, should be okay. Guys, I don't want you to be shocked because sometimes the group discussion can turn into a group activity. They might do this like both at the same time. They gonna they might give you to perform something, um, a scene, or they might tell you to sell something to your friends. They might ask you to act, not only to speak. As I told you, don't panic. You are there for a reason. You are there because they believed in you. You are there. They called you in your CV the first day and you uh, went through a lot of exams until you reached the group discussion or the group activity, depending on the mood of the recruiter. So you are there for a reason. Just don't panic. Whatever happens, breathe, take a deep breath, and then be sure that you can make it. Just follow the advice that I gave you and good guys, please, before leaving you, I'm going to tell you that um, I'm so happy to share with you all those information, you know. Uh, I feel so good because it makes me bring back the memories. Oh my God, when I remember how I was the very first day, I was really, really shy and uh, I was excited and I had no clue about the... Um, the questions, how to answer, what to answer. As I told you, please be yourself as much as you can. And please don't hesitate to write down in the comments any question that you want, uh, because I will make sure to answer it either by a comment or if it takes like a lot of explanation and it takes time, I'm gonna make a video about it. And yeah, that's it. So good luck everyone. And don't forget, you can become anything you want.